I'm Janet Cunningham with the University of Utah College of Humanities, and today I'm speaking with Claudio Holtzner, Associate Professor of Political Science and Director of the Center for Latin American Studies. As a Title VI National Resource Center, it serves as a hub for Latin American-related activities involving teaching, research, and community outreach. What is the Center for Latin American Studies? So the Center for Latin American Studies is the preeminent center of its kind in the Intermountain West. Uh, we support a vibrant um, learning community um, around Latin American studies. So we support faculty who are research focus involves Latin America. We also support students who are interested in majoring or studying about Latin America. We provide scholarships for students um, who are interested in traveling to Latin America. And we also uh, organize um, dozens of events out in the community each year. We partner with uh, community organizations, um, with local schools, to host uh, events, uh, film screenings, um, and things like that to broaden our impact. What are the degrees offered within the center, and what can students expect while they are in the program? Sure. We offer three degrees, an MA, a BA, and a minor in Latin American Studies. Um, all of these degrees are very flexible, but they're also rigorous. Students can fulfill their degree requirements by taking classes uh, in departments across the university. So they're very flexible, but we also encourage students to focus on a discipline um, so that they come away uh, from their degree with some real life skills and some disciplinary knowledge. Um, and so that area of focus might be in a discipline like political science or history, or it could also be in an interdisciplinary area like environmental studies, or business and economics, um, economic development. And so students can um, really craft their own um, learning experience in the major. So how would you say, so you're talking about how students are studying these different areas. How do you think the Latin American studies degree complements those other areas of study? Yeah, so I think it, I mean, it's a great standalone major or first major. I think if you're uh, interested in Latin America or passionate about Latin America, um, or want to learn the languages of Latin America better, it's a great way to um, take classes from a variety of majors um, as you're exploring you know, what major field you want to uh, focus on. It's a great way to fulfill your sort of degree requirements in, in your Latin American Studies major while exploring uh, other disciplines. Um, it works great as a second major too, that is it complements other majors. Virtually all of the classes that you would take for a Latin American Studies major count in one way or another for um, other disciplines. And so, for example, we have a robust language requirement. Um, and so the Latin American Studies major works great with a Spanish major or Portuguese minor. Um, there's a lot of humanities and social science classes that count for, um, for our major. And so a lot of our majors come from poli-sci or history or sociology. But we also have a number of students who come from chemistry and engineering um, who are able to combine uh, their science and STEM degrees with a Latin American Studies major as double majors. Do you know how about, about how many languages are offered within Latin American Studies? Yeah, so we have a really robust language program. Um, we offer Spanish um, through the languages department. Uh, we offer uh, really advanced levels of Portuguese. So for both Spanish and Portuguese, students can take really advanced levels of the language, including courses that are taught totally in Spanish or Portuguese. We also offer um, two indigenous languages, Nahuatl and Quechua, which are combined spoken by about 10 million people across Latin America. Um, we have the probably the most robust Nahuatl program in the country right now. Students can take up to three years, maybe even four years of Nahuatl. And uh, we also offer Quechua. We offer two or three years worth of Quechua. So students can fulfill their language requirement studying these indigenous languages. What types of research do your students participate in and what kind of opportunities are there for both undergraduate and graduate students? Yeah, our students, so our major um, it not only encourages students to uh, take the learning outside of the classroom um, with research or study abroad or internship programs, we actually count those experiences towards our major. And so if you study abroad um, you can or take have an internship, those, those experiences count. And so our students 
um, have done internships um, in Mexico, in Brazil. Um, they've done research projects in Cuba and Chile. Um, some of them are uh, combined with an honors thesis. A number of our students have done a research under faculty supervision through the Urop program, the Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program. And we provide funding for some of those students if they want to do the research in Latin America or out in the community, we can we provide some scholarships for students to, to pursue those passions. After graduation, what types of jobs do you see your students going into? What you get with Latin American studies is really deep knowledge of the region and you can demonstrate language and cultural expertise that are valued by companies um, that have gl global footprint. And so our we've had graduates work for Goldman Sachs, work for eBay, companies that have a global reach and, and global customers, right? And I think in that way, our students are really well positioned to work um, in government and business, but also nonprofits. You know, when we think of globalized world, we often think about other countries, but really our community locally, right? Salt Lake City is an increasingly global community, and there are 40 or 50 languages spoken in Salt Lake and in Utah and in Utah schools. And so uh, our students, I think, uh, can do really well uh, working as professionals. So um, working as in social work, um, in schools, as nurses, as doctors, um, getting a Latin American studies degree before going on to graduate school to specialize can be, um, can really give you um, a competitive advantage in the workplace. And lastly, the center recently received a pretty incredible grant from the Department of Education. And so if you, I would just like you to tell us a little bit more about that and what makes this grant unique. Yeah, so the Center for Latin American Studies received a Title VI NRC and FLAS grant uh, from the Department of Education. This is a grant in consortium with BYU. So we, we partner really closely with BYU on this grant. Uh, the NRC designation stands for National Resource Center. And so the federal government uh, is designating the University of Utah and BYU together as national resources uh, for Latin America. And what that means is we're charged with um, training students and providing resources for faculty um, so that uh, we can ensure that companies, nonprofits, businesses, um, and the government have enough people to sort of staff any needs that might emerge with regards to Latin America, whether they be national security needs or people to engage in trade negotiations or working um, in businesses uh, um, in Latin America. Um, for students, uh, the most significant impact of these grants is that we're able to provide about $300,000 each year um, in direct student scholarships through our FLAS fellowship program. Uh, these FLAS fellowships are uh, among the most generous in the university. Uh, for undergraduates, they provide a full tuition scholarship plus a $5,000 stipend. And the only requirements are that they take one Latin American studies class and one Latin American language class each semester that they hold the fellowship. And for graduate students, they provide full tuition plus a $15,000 um, scholarship. We're also able to provide uh, funds for student travel to study abroad in Latin America and also to study uh, languages intensely over the summer. That was Claudio Holtzner of the Center for Latin American Studies. Visit humanities.utah.edu for more information about this center and other centers housed in the College of Humanities.